Hey wineries, happy 2021. I have a good news update to kick off this new year and share with all of you. It's Ann Reynolds of Wine Compliance Alliance. And the update that I have to share is for all of you California wineries. So that means all of you businesses that hold a type O2 wine grower ABC license in the state of California. And of course, that does include any of you watching this who are alternating proprietors or APs. The good news update is that the California Department of Tax and Fee Administration, or CDTFA, is offering you extended due dates for two of your required reports. Uh, those two reports, and for all of you, all of you O2 license holders, you both are required to file at least these two reports. Those two reports I'm talking about are your sales and use tax report and your wine grower tax report. So for both of those, their due dates have been extended by three months. What you see on my screen here, I've logged on to my CDTFA account and I've opened up one of my clients' report screens. This is for their wine grower tax report. That report is normally due January 15th. And as you see right here, it's been pushed out to April 15th. The other report, the sales and use tax report, the due date for that guy is normally the 30th of January. So again, just push that out by three months to April 30th. They've given you that gift to start off 2021. Um, if you, by the way, if you don't already have a CDTFA account for your winery, I highly recommend that you set one up. Set them up, set up your account, and then set up access to your sales and use tax account and set up access to your wine grower tax account. And then when you log on, you'll come to a screen like this that will keep you in the loop on when the due dates are, when reports are due. And of course, you'll also then file those reports online, which I'm always a huge proponent of. There you go, wineries. That's my good news update to kick off 2021. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.